ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. Welcome to the Weather Extreme video for Saturday, February the 7th. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters, and it's a beautiful morning as we see from the Skycam Network. We're looking out over Birmingham and Red Mountain. And uh, the sun rising in the east, and a beautiful uh, sunrise it is. And a few clouds visible from our Clanton view off to the south, but high clouds, they're not going to be a problem for us today. And very little traffic out there. Don't you wish most mornings were like this as we look uh, over the bridge there at Tuscaloosa, headed for Northport. High pressure at the surface is off to our east, and the result is that we're seeing moisture, of course, returning. And overnight tonight, we might see some stratus clouds in the morning. In the upper atmosphere, we're under a weak ridge, and we've got an interesting split flow. We've got the main flow across the U.S.-Canadian border, the northern tier of the United States and the Great Lakes, plus we've got that deep closed low just off the California coast, so a bit of an interesting split flow pattern. Temperatures very mild this morning across much of the United States. As a matter of fact, you have to get to the extreme northeast or uh, the extreme northern tier along the Canadian border to find freezing temperatures across central Alabama. Very mild this morning. As Tim pointed out yesterday, the heat island still showing up. You can see uh, both Atlanta and Birmingham showing up just a little bit warmer than uh, the surrounding areas. A little bit cooler in the eastern part of the state this morning with temperatures around freezing or slightly below. Actually, I guess maybe 30 would be a better description, uh, but temperatures certainly very mild this morning. Not too many watches and warnings, and uh, those over there in Arkansas and Texas are generally wind warnings and uh, our high wind advisories. And then uh, the main thrust of the watches and warnings out in the southern Rockies. QPF-wise, not a lot expected here in central Alabama. Uh, this runs uh, through Wednesday um, uh, evening, and uh, that's about when we're expected to see some rain is probably on Wednesday. Also, interestingly enough, uh, we're being outlooked in the long range, the four to eight day for both uh, day four and day five. And uh, that's uh, Wednesday and, or uh, pardon me, Tuesday and Wednesday. Now let's get to the 068 GFS model run. And uh, here we go. Uh, surface high today is going to continue to be off to the east, keeping moisture off to our west. And that pattern continues for Sunday with a high pretty much centered over uh, northern Florida. In the upper atmosphere by Monday, one of those short waves over the Southwest begins to kick out some energy. You can see that uh, it's a kind of a double barrel pattern. We get one little short wave kicking out across uh, the central plain states while one holds back. Uh, that leaves us with a surface low and a front coming out through Oklahoma and Texas. But for the most part, I think we'll be dry and mild. Uh, that one uh, zips pretty quickly up into the western Great Lakes. And uh, that keeps us under the ridge, so it's going to be pretty hard for any uh, system to get here. The second one, though, begins to kick out, and that's the one on Wednesday that's going to uh, cause us our concerns. And you can see a pretty strong surface low over the Great Lakes with a trailing cold front. And that is the next one, I think, that's going to really bring us any significant uh, rain chances. Although Tuesday we may see rain chances close. Uh, I think that the, they hold off primarily to Wednesday. That upper trough goes into New England by Thursday, and of course that will dry us out significantly with a nice high settling in here, but uh, cooler, but not especially cold. The next uh, short wave comes out on Friday, and uh, that will be close enough probably that we'll see more clouds than anything else. I know the GFS is painting some uh, moisture or some precipitation there, but I think... Uh, We'll have to watch warm front positions and that sort of thing, but I, I think for the most part we'll probably be dry but cloudy on Friday. That short wave zips in quickly across the Ohio River Valley. Uh, while out to the west, we see still another one uh, in this train of short waves, and uh, that one brings the surface low across the Ohio River Valley and into the mid-Atlantic states, and uh, that should uh, bring us some rain late Friday and into Saturday, and uh, we dry out again. The fast flow goes uh, by Tuesday, and uh, we're getting into voodoo here, but uh, by Tuesday, we're still under a bit of a ridge, so uh, that's a pretty fast flow. But with that position, uh, things are not going to get very far south, and the GFS is suggesting that we could be uh, kind of wet around the 17th. And then one more pick in, uh, peak in voodoo, and uh, you can see another trough 
Uh, so the screaming picture here is, or the screaming trend is, that we're going to stay in a relatively active pattern, and uh, that will bring us another possible period of wet weather around the 20th. Well, thanks to tuning in to the Weather Extreme uh, video. I uh, headed for the Alabama Storytelling Association formative meeting today down in Clanton. So that's going to be kind of uh, exciting. Hope that you have a great weekend and certainly enjoy the beautiful sunshine and the mild temperatures. In the meantime, Godspeed. Oh,